Welcome to another health series. Today I am excited because we are with no other than the beautiful actress, fitness enthusiast, entrepreneur, etc. etc. Miss Rachel Lobanco. <laughs> Miss Rachel, so thank you for joining us on of this course, quick yeah. interview about health, yes. beauty, and wellness. And How are you? I'm okay, and thank you so much for visiting Checkmat uh, HQ. And we're so glad that you're here today with us. Guys, yeah. as you can see, naman, diba? busy, busy yeah. sila, but Miss Rachel took the time to really share yes. some insightful tips and advice about beauty, fitness, and all that. Because as we all know, she's totally engaged with different <laughs> physical activities, ma'am. Right. And dami yes. pong ginagawa from, uh -huh. kanina mention ko, boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. And dami pa, ano pa ba? Yes. Actually, talaga, ang dami ko na, bakit nga ba ang dami na kong ginagawa? Because, maybe because I'm so uh, big fan of fitness ever since. Uh, before naman kasi, I entered uh, martial arts. I was into Dragon Boat, I was yeah. also doing fire dancing. But now that I moved here in Manila, after my Boracay life, uh, I got engaged with uh, martial arts. So I'm doing boxing, Muay Thai, and then my favorite, Jiu Jitsu. Jiu -jitsu. And I'm also dancing, don't forget. Yeah, I'm also so dancing many things. with pole cats and uh, I'm doing chair dancing, uh, floor dancing, and pole dancing. Yes, you mentioned about the chair dancing. Yes, yes. Just uh, a little trivia, guys, because apparently this was not really so mainstream noon pero yes. kayo po yung isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit medyo ang dami nang nauuso ano uso na siya ngayon yung chair yeah. dancing actually baka isipin nila it's just too sexy na dance it's not really it's, uh, it's more of a uh, floor work tricks and to be able to balance with your heels na it's like uh, 8 to 10 inches that's really a skill yes it is yeah. a skill yeah. it's a skill actually, na mahirap na, yeah it's na, mas nahirapan ako doon kesa dito so mukha siyang the, the idea is to make sure that uh, your flow is really flawless and that parang ang dali-daling gawin but actually it's so hard especially when you do your fan kicks your your yung mga shoulder stand mga roll ang hirap talaga na nasakit talaga sa likod but you have to look good <laughs> doing it that's and the like thing eh it. Diba? Yeah. you have to find the balance so you have to yeah. know like looking sexy and yeah. good but in while doing that exactly. sobrang hirap nga guys now go check it out <laughs> by the way um, Miss yeah. Rachel so apparently from what we heard because we've been seeing her in different um, news lately yes. because of the upcoming um, uh, body body con, con competition yeah. yes tell us what what <laughs> made you decide to join that competition actually I've been wanting to join the competition for the past wow three years already because I've been working out in Gold's gym for almost five years now so I said what if I try to be a, a bikini athlete because I want to be able to share this to people mga, mga followers ko who wants to be like me I mean women in my age na sana magkaroon ng drive to be like me. So, there, finally, uh, I think I'm fit enough naman to, di ba, to try it. So, this year, I entered and wish me luck. Sana naman, kahit pa paano, di ba? <laughs> Yung mga hashtag yeah. Team Rachel Lobanco yes. dyan, please show some love and support. <laughs> Kailan po ba to? This is gonna be on March 21st and it's gonna be in Resort World. So, so sana mapuntahan nyo naman kami and nasupportahan nyo kami. And I wanna, of course, share my advocacy because I'm catering to most of women my age and uh, women uh, single mom uh, and I want to reach out on them and send the message that we are strong and that we can do whatever we want to do that martial arts is really not for boys and it's also for women like us and you know look at me diba? I'm 50 years old and I was able to showcase and show people that I can do it diba? you know what Miss Rachel I am like totally hands down <laughs> po, grabe, kasi na siya, no? although age is really just a number but yeah. It's still really like as you as you get there in life, like it's becoming yeah. harder to get fitter and sexier. And yet, look at you, your hashtag <laughs> fitness goals. <laughs> Dapat kasi nothing can stop you. Dapat uh, yeah. you always want to invent yourself, and age yes. shouldn't stop you from doing that. And ako ganon na naging mindset ko. Eh. I want to always see myself in a different way. Na dapat laging mi bago. Dapat though it's not like uh, nagiging master of nana ko na lahat. In umpisa ko tapos hindi ko na I was in Dragon Boat for almost uh, 13 years of my life. 13 years. And here I'm so dedicated with uh, Jiu Jitsu for almost a year now. Uh -huh. And uh, with Muay Thai, I think I've been training for almost two years. I mean, I'm talking about real training. I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I make wow. sure that I train twice a day you know I make sure that I have my Muay Thai training at least uh, 
three times a week and then uh, Jiu Jitsu at least twice a week. Twice I go week. hardcore going to uh, check mat and I do uh, my regular uh, training in UFC. Yung ganon, I make sure that I make sure that I have the time to budget my, my schedule to be able to make it in my trainings. <laughs> yeah. But and of course, I don't forget about uh, dancing. Yeah, that, yes. That's the side of me that I need to keep my grace. You Tama. know, I'm all the time. I'm not so masculine. So that's my reminder of my grace. That's a great <laughs> yeah. strategy right yeah. there. You're doing diba, both of the, those things yes, just yeah. to maintain your yeah. health. Because I'm not the type of person who would actually get indulged with buying expensive stuff like bags or shoes or watches. I think for me, uh, my happiness is to have a beautiful body. I mean, I'm not those kind of princess na, ah, I like uh, expensive stuff. But me, uh, I want my body to look wow. like this. And that's just my only goal. I mean, my body is my accessories. And I, kahit I don't have anything, even if I'm wearing the oldest uh, style of shoes, I'm okay with that. <laughs> there you go. I hope, guys, you had a takeaway for that. For me, I, I think that's a gold right there. Yeah. That, I mean, it's okay to invest in mga material things, right? But really, investing yeah. in your health in is your the health. most critical thing. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I love that. <laughs> what else motivates you and why you're doing so many healthy activities? Well, not, uh, not just for myself. I also want to, uh, you know, reach out on people. That's why I'm doing this. I want to be able to share my my fitness goal. Um, mm -hmm. I, it makes me happy when I see a lot of people asking me kung ano ginagawa ako sa lifestyle ko. And this is naging big motivation ko talaga. Na, okay, if I if I touch people's lives with what I do and this is what I like to do and di ba, parang hindi lang, hindi lang para sa sarili ko yung ginagawa ko and siguro para sa mga, mga followers ko din. And of course, my daughter is my number one inspiration and uh, seeing her, uh, watching what I do and we enjoy these things di ba? instead of seeing her going out with her friends and just drinking out kung, kung magiging teenager na life naman siya, but I'd rather see her get indulged in sports. Nice. You know I'm I mean? so glad you brought that up. Congrats, <laughs> By the way, I heard that your yeah. daughter is a Dean's listener. Yes, Guys, yes. look at that. What <laughs> I'm is... a hands-on mom because I you nice. know, always make... Tell us, what is your secret po? Like, yeah. how do you juggle? Because you have your businesses. Yes. So obviously, and you are engaged with a lot of athlete sports. Yes. And then, obviously, other stuff too. And then being a mom. How do you juggle it's, that? It's actually time management. I uh -huh. always tell myself that this is my situation. Okay, I have, I'm a mom. Uh, I'm a businesswoman. And I I need my me time. I make sure that in one day, I have no no ingredients na yun, to, to, to have a, a complete life you know i mean yun nga lang hindi ko nabibigyan ng time si personal life medyo wala akong love life pero <laughs> ang hirap kasi pagsamasamahin ni priorities because like the moment i wake up uh, si Leona na kagad i would wake her up make sure that she's ready for school and bring her to school ha? and i bring her to school and then i go straight to my me time that's where i train my, my, do my own thing uh, at lunch lunch time that's when i you know, spend time with my mom, and then office time na ako from 1 to 5. 5, dismiss na yung anak ko, then that's where I can pick her up. And then if I ha still have natitra ng energy, tatakbo pa ako sa training. Because oh, that's wow. the time also that I want to bring my daughter to to work out with me. So ganun yung schedule ko. And even during weekends, because I, I have a farm in Tagaytay that I have to take care of. Nagtatrabaho pa rin ako, so I would drive my whole family there. Kasi we don't have a driver, I drive, would drive my mom there and work again. So medyo wala talaga akong weekend. And I love my schedule. I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really need uh, a free time. <laughs> na magdrelax ako or watch TV. I really like how how busy I am, and nakukulangan pang ako sa oras ko. So, <laughs> so and I wanna do so many things like what you see in my schedule. Medyo talaga sobrang loaded ako. Hindi ko alam what's in my head na parang nagbabadali ako to finish everything, you know. But true enough naman, nagagawa ko naman sila lahat, and I'm, I'm happy that. Um, and that's yeah. the reason why I am like super <laughs> like when I saw um, her followers, yung mga contents niya, guys, check it out, yung Instagram niya, Facebook niya, may inspire din kayo kasi sa sobrang dami niya ginagawa, it makes you wonder, okay, how, paano, ginagawa? Yeah, paano yeah. niya kaya ginagawa yun? And now that she told you, it's hashtag time management. <laughs> so sa mga viewers and listeners natin then, let's be cautious then kung ano yung mga passion natin. Let's yes. make sure that there's a balance just like what mom Rachel said. I make said. sure to uh, document everything I do. There you go. Para, para makita naman mga followers. Because that's the idea, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you want 
be able to show them na kaya pala tong gawin. I mean, ayoko kasi makarinig ng mga excuse eh. I mean, you, yeah. you cannot say na, ah, I'm a mom, I'm so busy. No, walang ganun. I mean, even if you want to work out, even in your own home, you can be creative and do your home workout. Kasi before when I got pregnant and I gave birth and I was so fat, I, I actually gained 200 pounds. 200 <laughs> Hindi ako makalabas ng bahay because I was taking care of my daughter. So, I was very uh, creative doing my home workout talaga sa bahay lang talaga ako. So, I would watch uh, YouTube videos on uh, on uh, yoga mm -hmm. and then I would I actually bought myself my own stationary bike and I was just doing it for like a year riding that bike every morning <laughs> for at least an hour, you know. So, ganon. I mean, uh, there's no excuse when it comes to fitness. So, if you really want to uh, indulge and put fitness in your lifestyle, then you have to really be creative. And you did a great job in reinventing your Yourself. Like yes. look at you now, <laughs> diba, from that, um, yung, uh, yung post-birth yeah. na, na Rachel Labanco and then now. That's 80 pounds that I lost in 8 months because I was 200 pounds. Uh, even when I gave birth, I was uh, 190, parang 196, uh, parang ganun. Because Leona is just less than how many pounds eh? Mga 6 lang yata eh. Oh. So, ang bigat ko pa rin. So, siguro, um, uh, when she was 3 months, I was still mga 150, 155. Ganun, ganun pa ako kalaki. That's why, when I pushing her sa, sa when I was pushing her sa, ano niya, sa crib niya, sa, sa mall kami, you know, people would go, kailan kayo mga nganak? And then, wait, nanganak na ako, yan na baby ko. <laughs> I was that huge. Ganun ako kalaki. So, how, what else, okay, you mentioned that you bought that bike and then yeah. you were doing that an hour a day for a yeah. year. What else did you do to get that sexy fit, <laughs> sexy fit body? <laughs> Actually, nutrition plays a big role. Okay. Uh, uh, diet is really, uh, naging 80% of my uh, situation. Okay. I think food intake plays a big role talaga. I mean, when you stop your, I stopped myself from eating a lot of carbs. Okay. When I continued uh, working out, I focused on more protein than carbs. But of course, oh. hindi naman inaabsorb the ni body si protein if you have less, super less carbs. So, nag, ano naman ako, nag go once a week, uh, metabolic confusion ako where I don't eat protein for one day but I only take all carbs. Oh, so, okay. So, parang inaaral ko din naman kung anong gusto ng body ko. And, ah, okay. Yeah, and alam mo yun, kasi sometimes ang hirap talagang tanggalin ang mga, mga maling fats na naka so yun uh, and then uh, hindi ako kasi yung weight conscious yung pumapanik sa weighing scale to check uh, ano na ba gano'n kabigat I go to uh, and check my proportion in the mirror I look at myself and I check hmm saan ba ako may problema ah sa arms okay I'm gonna work on this today okay, uh, okay. and then uh, I'm a very big fan of that wrap in the waist yung sauna wrap I use that every time I work out and I don't care if I look horrible working out with it but yun kasi nagpapalit ng bewang ko yung mga ganun uh, mini uh, small things that you have to do to add on to your workout routine diba kasi somehow it helps mm -hmm. you know if you're wearing that wrap it doubles your your what you call this your your workout situation when it comes to to, to sweating to, is concerned yes. yeah. <laughs> and shedding that pound yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned about nutrition for yeah. like okay so you shared about like how what's your game plan sa kinakain yeah, nyo yeah. um, do you also like take uh, like supplements perhaps yes. uh, well aside what is yeah of course aside from taking care of my my food intake not not drinking anything with colors uh -huh. and not oh, having okay. sugar no salt of course I have my supplements uh -huh. and I make sure that uh, I have my fish oil because I need my my uh, what is this my muscle repair I okay. also take uh, syempre at my sa agent time na to nagka-calcium na talaga ako okay, okay and I also take uh, uh, nagoglucosamine ako for my joints yes yeah and of course I take my multivitamins my, my uh, 1000 milligrams of vitamin C is always there and what else I have um, uh, collagen for collagen, my skin. Yes. Yeah, medyo madami ako iniinom. But I make sure that I take uh, uh, sineset ko sila. Siguro mga apat na tab sa umaga, tatlang tab sa gabi. So, hindi pwedeng sabay-sabay. Ganun. But I'm very religious, ha? It's right beside my bed. And I will, oh. yeah, I make sure that when I wake up after my breakfast, I would take. You know? In one day that I don't take my supplement, parang, it's not complete. Oh. <laughs> As tea, kaya pala. Okay. So, now na mention yung very religious case sa pag-take ng mga supplements yes. nyo. Yes. Ano naman yung routine nyo po? Like, how are you maintaining that glowing skin? What's the secret? Tell me! Well, aside <laughs> from me, only, go to yan. 
a skincare kasi yeah. my mom is uh, my mom is a dermatologist. Okay. Yeah, that's our business talaga. So, uh, she talaga yung nagme-maintain ng skin ko. Pero hindi ako talaga nagpapa-peel all the time. I make sure lang that I use her uh, what is this? Her products and her maintenance. Ah, But okay. aside from having good skin, Uh, using that products, of course, you need enough sleep. Because number uh -huh. one, talaga yan for your skin, you need lots of water. Okay. You know, yun tulog talaga siguro yung nagpapaganda sa akin. Ayun, guys, I, 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 I want to make sure that you know, I, I'm complete with my, my with my sleep. Yeah, sleep yeah. is the really yeah, natural beautifier. <laughs> yeah, oh, sobra. Hindi talaga kasi ako pwede ng walang tulog talaga with the, all the training and with my hectic schedule. Talaga, sleep is number one for me. Very. Yeah. And ano po? Now, curious kami ng malaman. Ano yung mga tips ng sa ating mga listeners and viewers on how to be the healthiest you for less. Healthiest you for less. Okay, I mean, if we're talking about budget, uh, maybe you just want to make sure to check on how much lang yung mga afford mo. And if you cannot afford so much, like, yung, ito nga, pupunta ka sa mga gantong class in gym, you have to be really creative, like what, what I always say. I mean, ako kasi nabuhay ako sa jumping rope for a while. I mean, a piece of jumping rope that you would use every day for 15 minutes will play a big role. Sa, sa health mo. You will lose weight, you, yung cardio mo is perfect, you will sweat a lot. That alone is okay. Okay, jogging is also good. You know, kung talagang medyo nagtitipid kayo, you can just uh, you can just uh, run to, the, to your subdivision or wherever you want. Basta, I think, more than anything, uh, kailangan samahan ng disiplina yung, yung, yung situation, not just uh, not just uh, the budget, di ba? And of course, if you have naman enough budget to go to the gym, why don't you, di ba? Get indulged. It's so nice to be with people. I mean, it's nice to share energy with a lot of people working out with you. You get inspired uh, seeing them. Kung ano yes. meron sila na, ah, kaya ko din yan. Sometimes kasi yun din ang pinupuntahan mo sa gym eh. It's not just because you want to sweat. If you, you want to reach out on people. You want to be able to to check kung ano ba ang ginagawa nila with their lifestyle and kung ano ba may, may share mo sa kanila or may share nila sa'yo. It's more of that. Ako, ganun ang pinupunta ko sa gym. Yung hindi lang, hindi lang talaga training. But if I want solid training, I go to places like this. I mean, <laughs> guys, as you can see, <laughs> very hardcore. Yeah. So, so, yung may, le oh, no? may, le may leveling din talaga kasi ang gyms. Kung uh, saan nyo gusto mapunta, saan mo ba nakikita yung sarili mo? If you think that you're just a beginner, go there. You know, But if you want a hardcore like this, and you want to train to be a champion, go to places like this. And Check Matt is number one when it comes wow. to, to jiu-jitsu. <laughs> so, thank you, Check yeah. Matt, for this yeah. uh, opportunity na makapag-tour tayo. Yeah. Nakakatawa. Grabe, I mean, very intense. I mean, ako binabiyahe ko talaga itong lugar na to. I mean, yes. this is my once a week habit. If I can come here three times a week, I would. But, you know, it's quite far uh, sa kung saan ako nakatira. Talaga, nag-e-effort ako. How many hours do I pull? Well, usually, if I come here na super early, if I wake up at 5, I leave at the house at 6. I make it here at 7. But now, it's traffic. It took me two and a half hours to get here. Yeah. Wow, guys. Sometimes, umabot pa ako ng three, three hours na biyahe. But, I don't mind. I mean, every time I come home, you know, I'm happy and I know kaya ko pala. Di ba kaya ko pala silang sabay ako? You know? <laughs> Dedication and discipline right there. Just yeah. right there. Iba Very kasi nice. ang goal ng jiu-jitsu eh. Uh, you know, sana naman madagdagan yung stripes ko sa bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Magla-level up na pretty soon. And, and one day I hope makapag-compete din ako sa jiu-jitsu. I mean, that's my main goal. Yeah. What's next for you, Miss Rachel? Like, obviously, there's the Bodycon coming up, yeah. March 21, guys. Yes, please. <laughs> What else are you doing right now? Uh, well, uh, I'm actually uh, learning how to cook oh Thai God! food. Yeah, because I'm opening up my own restaurant okay. in uh, Ipifan Tagaytay. Okay. Sa, uh, ano namin, sa wedding destination namin sa Tagaytay. Uh, I've been wanting to do this. Hindi ko lang talaga mahugot sa schedule ko. <laughs> eh, I'm uh, nag-aaral ako ngayon dito sa Gordos. Okay. And I'm flying to Bangkok uh, on Holy Week to uh, study sa Blue Elephant. Oh, I wanna, nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I want to focus on really cooking Thai food and creating uh, beautiful dishes and yummy dishes na mailalagay ka naman sa... <laughs> Salamesa na ang EP Farm. And that's my goal, you know. And another goal is I wish I can join another uh, bikini competition. Uh, I really want to be a bikini athlete. You know, uh, I want to showcase um, the hard work that I've been doing <laughs> with my body. You know, sana naman magkaroon malang na recognition. Diba? Uh, ayun nga, medyo madami nga akong gustong gawin. Pati itong competition sa, sa jiu-jitsu, sana makapag-compete ako. Uh, so, siguro sa Muay Thai lang talaga ako walang bala kasi ayoko 
ako na makapagsunto ka ng bongga. <laughs> But of course, I want to be able to perform also for chair dancing, which is uh-huh. sa April. I have an upcoming concert with uh, Sherry. We'll be, uh, oh, nice. we, we have a concert in, in uh, Music Museum for, nice. for bur- Girlesque. So, yun. When is that again? April? And, uh, I think it's April, ano ba yun? 19 yata. 19. If I'm not mistaken. We'll, ch- we'll check. Ang dami yeah. exciting. Ang dami, di ba? Especially that cooking thing. Yeah. You'll be flying Medyo to Bangkok. Medyo madami-dami pa so, akong pagtatrabahohan sa yeah. cooking. And I'm, I'm gonna be patient. I mean, I wanna learn so much. And since, uh, ma- since ako, na, ako din naman na magtutuloy ng EP Farm, I, I wanna make sure na hindi lang, hindi lang management ang hawak ko or admin. I wanna be able to understand and cook and put hot food on my table sa, sa farm. Yeah. <laughs> that is the ultimate fitness goals right there from the diet that you're gonna be cooking yeah. and then yung mga, uh, yung mga sports na ginagawa niyo po yeah. and dancing and all that. Yeah. Okay, so where is this um, wedding destination? It's in Mendes, Tagaytay. Okay. It's very near sa Mamalapit. Wala po kami sa, uh, sa area where nandun yung volcano. Medyo malayo-layo naman kami. Nasa area kami ng Mendes. Nasa oh, Karachuchi okay. Drive. Na, medyo dire-diretso yung puro uh, wedding destination, event place yung, yung area na yun. There you go. And yeah. it's called the? AP Farm, Tagaytay. Tagaytay. LB Tagaytay. Pineda Tag- uh, Farm. Okay, <laughs> I gotta check name, that out one yeah, day. <laughs> it's a uh, name after my mom. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, a, it's a small uh, Thailand in, uh, in Tagaytay. Ganun yung setup niya. Very Very Bangkok. Yeah, oh. we we uh, we flew all the furniture from Bangkok. Lahat ng mga gamit ng pati pati mga place and everything. So, ang feeling mo pag nandong ka para ka na sa Chiang Mai, na sa Bangkok. Oh, nice. Ganon yung vibe. That's why I want to be able to cook Thai food and make sure that lahat ng isa serve namin dun puro Thai Thai dishes. There you go, yeah. guys. Check it out if you are so into Thai ambience and Thai food and of course relaxation. That's yeah. a must uh, must see. Miss okay. Rachel, yeah, my gosh, thank you. So Thank you so much for all yeah. the tips. Yes, Nako, I hope you enjoyed. Good luck sa mga competitions and yeah, the, wish all the for body con, yeah. <laughs> Guys, yeah. follow niyo siya sa Instagram. Yeah, and Rachel uh, underscore Lubanco sa Instagram. And with Facebook, just Rachel Lubanco. Shibum. You may shibum ako po yun. Kasi medyo madami akong poser. So try to find the Rachel Lubanco na may close in parentheses then shibum. At mas marami naman kayong followers kaya sa poser. So, <laughs> ma'am, thank, thank you so much. Thank you guys for listening and for watching. Stay well. Bye.